friends naturally Rhonda here for all my old time subscribers I love you love you so much thank you for coming back to watch my videos each and every week and if you're new here welcome 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 come on in please stay a while and check out some of my other content so as you can see I still have my beautiful knotless braids I still love them so much I consider myself to be lazy with my hair and with my hairstyles. I'm not the naturalista who's gonna do a whole bunch of extravagant things, that's just not me. I want to do them and then I'll start, get halfway through and be like, Ugh, I don't wanna do this anymore. I feel like I'm extra with my hair in a lazy kind of way, if that makes any sense. I know it's a paradox. But in this video, I wanted to show y'all the different hairstyles that I like to do with my knotless braids, but they're, these are very easy styles to do. So if you're thinking, okay, I have knotless braids, but I'm not a beautician, hairstylist, any of that natural hair guru or whatever, don't worry, I got you. These are very easy looks that you can recreate on your own protective styles. And the only tools that I will use for any of these styles will be a small scrunchie and a thick scrunchie. So if you would like to see my eight favorite ways to rock my knotless braids, please keep watching. Now, before I started filming this video, I did my normal everyday maintenance. I did a whole video on this. If you haven't seen the video, then I will leave that down below in the description as well as up above in the cards. Check that out if you're interested in how I maintain my knotless braids. Okay, so the first one is super easy. Just out, like I just, I love it. I love to just wear this out, let them inches flow. Because of the nature of knotless braids, you can move the part if you really want to and do it like this, have it more so to the side. If you really want to do like a super deep part, you can do that as well. There's so many different things that you can do with just keeping your braids out. Okay, so this next one is super easy. All you need is this thin scrunchie and I like to take two sometimes more but for this i'm just gonna take two braids keep those out to the front and then i'm going to gather i gathered about seven braids on this side and i'm gonna do the same on the other side if your knotless braids are symmetrical it makes it so much easier to do something like this because they're even on both sides then you just take the scrunchie and voila super cute it switches it up it didn't take that much effort and you have this cute little some of it's up with some bangs okay next we're gonna take this same scrunchie and we're just gonna pull more of the hair up and then you have more of a traditional half up half down style even with a half up half down style you can do it different ways you can do it just like this or you can move this up to the front a little more and have it be something like this very easy super cute and it switches it up so you don't get bored of having the same style every day now we're just going to build this next style right on top of this one with the bigger scrunchie i'm just going to wrap this around and secure it with the thicker scrunchie and you have your half up half down with a bun Now I'm just gonna pull it back into a ponytail. Just make sure you gather it all, smooth it out. I like to do bangs for my ponytails, but you don't have to. I'm just gonna take the thinner scrunchie and gather all the hair in. I'm gonna have to wrap this twice. Pull it all through, make sure you get it all. Okay, now this looks trash. So what you do, which is key, make sure you pull each, take the time to pull each individual braid one by one to tighten, so you can tighten your ponytail. Similar to one of my earlier styles, the next look is gonna build off of this one. I'm just gonna use the thicker scrunchie to put this up in a bun. I'm just wrapping this around. What I found is that you want to wrap this as tightly as you can and that 
leads to neater buns. And then of course, if there are any pieces that are just sticking out too much that you don't like, you can always use a bobby pin to make it look a little neater. My next two looks will be very similar to the last two. They're just gonna be high pony and a high bun. So first step, you take your small scrunchie and you flip your hair all over to the front. Gather your hair into the small scrunchie. Figure out where you want to position your ponytail. Do you want it to be all the way in the front of your head? Do you want it to be more towards the top of your head? I double my scrunchie over. Now, very similar, like I said to the last ponytail, I'm now going to individually pull each one of the braids through the scrunchie to make sure it's tight. One of my best friends, she also has knotless braids right now. And she came over to my house because she wanted me to put her hair in a bun. So I'm doing exactly what I'm doing right now. And she was just like, <laughs> so fair warning. It's not the most comfortable feeling in the world. You're gonna pull, it's gonna be tight. You can loosen it up if it's too tight for sure. But I just like my buns and ponytails to be nice and tight. So in my opinion, it looks better. <laughs> I did the same type of thing that I did with the lower bun. I just wrapped the ponytail and then twirled it around itself and secured it with a thicker bun. That's about it for my eight easy different hairstyles to do with knotless braids. These same styles could easily be done with regular box braids or faux locks or twists, any of those type of protective styles. If you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then please click that button down below and subscribe. I know in a previous video, I mentioned filming a video on black owned clothing brands. I did a video before on black owned hair care brands hair products that you might wanna try, ones that you might not have heard of yet. If you haven't seen that video, then check that out. I will leave that down below in the description as well as up above in the cards. Unfortunately, the video on the black owned clothing brands will have to be delayed because I'm waiting on two more packages. And I guess just with it being the holidays and with the fact that unfortunately, USPS has been recently gutted. I'm thinking that's what's causing the delay in my packages. Either way, I promise to get the video out to you as soon as possible, so be on the lookout for that. This is the moment in the video where I like to point your attention to some of my other content, like the video showing how I got my knotless braids and how I maintain my knotless braids. I love you for watching, y'all. Please be safe out there and I'll see you in the next one.